Nobody asked me if I wanted to play superheroes. We could all go to my house and sit around, staring dejectedly at our hands. I'm bummed. I was gonna take up a trade, learn how to fletch arrows. Hello. The boys are down in their little basement playroom. Eric's spending so much time playing superheroes, I'm afraid he's not eating. It seems like anything with a gold handle could be open. Give it a shot. Did you get locked out? I'm afraid little Eric put a lock on the door to keep me out. I'm sure he has the passcode written down here somewhere. shy about taking a potty break. You can get some neat stuff when you use the toilet. Good luck, bud! It's a key item. Maybe that means it's important. Yes, 
officer, somebody appears to have put lava in front of my door. Well, no, it's not hot, but my son told me I will burn to death if I try and cross it. Uh-huh. Oh, yes, he did tell me that if I step on a crack, it would break my mother's back. It won't. Fuck. You. Mom. Maybe we should go to Reasons and see if the waitresses know anything. That's not enough, Mosquito. We have to act fast before the Freedom Pals can. A hundred dollar reward. Do you know what that could mean to our superhero franchise? That cat looks pretty old. Maybe it just died in the gutter somewhere. Human Kite, do I have to remind you that as of right now, Freedom Pals have a hundred followers on Instagram? We have six. The five of us and Billy Turner, who's a ginger. This is the key to finally beating those fuckers. But where do we start looking? That cat could be anyway. We need to split up. Mosquito, take to the air and check out all the city parks. You got it. Mosquito, away. Human kite, see if the cat is stuck up a tree somewhere. You've got the storm drain, Super Craig. Super Craig. Fast pass, I need you to use your superhuman speed to get to the mayor's office and tell her we're on the case. Don't worry, Coon. You can count on fast pass to get there. Excuse me. Super Craig, Super Craig, this is Coon, do you copy? Super Craig, the fuck are you? I repeat, the fuck are you, Super Craig? Oh, great. Now the security system isn't working? Dude, what the fuck? Ordinary citizens aren't allowed in the Coon lair. We're playing superheroes now, and you aren't a superhero, new kid, so fuck off, okay? Ugh. All right, look, you can watch us play superheroes as long as you don't get in the way. Make yourself useful. Go grab me the Stephanasy device. It's over there. <laughs> you seriously can't find the Stephanasy device? A superheroes use inspection mode, you know. <laughs> you touch it again and we all fucking die! Hey, I told you not to fuck with that! Well, that took long enough. Is the fantasy device active? <laughs> you really want to be a superhero, huh? Play with the big boys? <sighs> well, maybe. Maybe you can be useful. Have a seat at the table, douchebag. Let's see, mosquitoes, ABLs. Jesus Christ, are these even in a human language? Not there. That's mosquito seat. Not there either, stupid. All right, in order to play superheroes, you have to have a superhero persona. Then you can fill out your character sheet on Coonstagram. Do you have a Coonstagram page? Oh boy, you're not even on Coonstagram, huh? Well, I guess I can create one for you. I can't believe I'm going to So the first thing we need to fill out on your character sheet is your class. You know, what kind of superhero are you? Since you're a newbie, you can only choose between three for now. 
Brutalist. Speedster. Brutalist. Speedster. Blaster. Speedster. A speedster, like the Flash or Quicksilver. Okay, douchebag, but now, we need to find out what terrible thing in your past drives you. You see, douche, all superheroes have a compelling backstory. It's from that backstory that their powers gain meaning. Let's take you back to when you were just a child. You lay awake that night. Like so many other nights, you couldn't sleep because you knew you weren't like the other kids. You walked to the mirror. You walked to the mirror. You looked in the mirror and you felt alone. And that's when it happened. A loud noise. You swore you could hear your mother calling for help. You left your room. You left your room. Seriously, dude, just walk through the door already? Out in the hallway, you saw two intruders in front of your parents' door. You had to stop them from hurting your parents. You knew you had the power to stop them, so for the first time, you called upon your speedster powers. As a super fast speedster hero, you bent space time itself to spring into action with super speed. You moved in closer to the intruder to deliver a quantum punch. You used your punch attack on the bad guy. Dude, we're not getting anywhere until you use the power. Once his atoms returned to their original positions, the intruder realized what he was up against. Damn, we weren't expecting a superhero to live here. Desperately, the intruder struck our hero. Take this! Emboldened, his fellow intruder moved into the fray. You don't scare us, superhero. But the intruders were only moving closer to their demise. You vibrated every subatomic particle to become an unstoppable high-energy body. Hey, what's the kid doing now? Once charged, you became empowered to use two attacks in the same turn. First, you gave the second intruder a taste of your atom-smashing quantum fist. Get my atoms! With both intruders weakened, there was nothing they could do against the hero's final strike, a supersonic dash! It's too speedy! Let's get out of here! With the intruders soundly defeated, you thought you were safe, until a third massive intruder entered the fray, bigger than the other two intruders could bend! Ah! <laughs> I just flushed one little shit. Here's one more! Before you could react, he swung his gargantuan fist into your small body, doing critical damage! Exhausted from your double-edged charge, you could only watch as he continued to pummel you. Can't run away from this! You were hurt, yes, but the intruder had made a critical mistake. He pissed you off. Summoning the last of your strength, you tapped into your ultimate ability, Hyperspace Fury! Just too speedy. And so you beat them. All seemed to be okay. But then you finally reached your parents' door. And what you saw when you opened that door changed your life forever and led you to fighting crime. You were too late. Because when you opened that door, you saw... You saw your dad fuck your mom. Wow. That's a pretty heavy backstory. You fight crime because you never forgot the night you weren't in time. And you saw your own father, the man you trusted, fuck your mom. It's like a ripple in time you can't ever change, isn't it? All right, now that you're a superhero, I have a mission for you. I need you to go out into town and try to get as many followers as you can on Coonstagram. It's the only way our franchise will survive. This 
isn't a mentorship program. Want to work on that backstory again? <sighs> the Keen Store has just been updated. You should visit the Keen Store. You'll be back. There's a new and exciting place where people can gather to shop, experience, and grow. This is an all-new food and night ride district. This is... Yes, I've heard of those. Well, isn't this fun? Fun. Oh, wonderful. I'll see you on the internet. No way I can't take a selfie with a nobody like you. My stories with me, sweetie. I can explain all the racy parts. Oh, aren't you adorable? Look, I only selfie with popular people. QPJ's kid. If you see Butters, could you tell him he's grounded again? Are you on some kind of house exploring adventure? You kids have such fun. Luckily, our valuables are safely locked in our bedroom. <gasps> oh, I've said too much. <laughs> 